I am Dr. Vipin Tyagi. I did my MBBS and MS from uh, King George Medical College, Lucknow. And after that, I worked in Sir Gangaram Hospital, Apollo Hospital. Went abroad, had trainings in Germany, Canada and US. And uh, I was attached to Apollo Hospital also. Now since 1983, I am attached to the Yasoda Hospital, Nehru Nagar and working as head uh, of department, department of orthopedic surgery. I'll be speaking today on one of the very common topic, which is flat foot. The national capital region is considered one of the largest orthopedic joint replacement surgery center in India. But sadly, you will be surprised to know that foot and ankle branch still remains largely a very neglected issue in the region and almost in the country also. In US and European countries, this branch is since there for last 15 to 17 years. India itself has a very few foot and ankle surgeons and even less number of exclusive practicing foot and ankle surgeons. So I decided that this is the specialty I want to concentrate and provide solution to my patient who are suffering from various problems related to foot and ankle, mainly the flat foot, which is a, one of the major problems the population of our country is largely facing and which is what I want to talk about today. Some estimate of 20 to 25 percent of our population is suffering from this pathological condition. In pursuit of finding solution to this common pathological condition of flat foot, I have attended endless medical education programs to find a permanent solution for this problem. So let me tell you something about what is flat foot. Just for knowledge to let me tell you few diseases which come under the foot and ankle branch specialty or you call them uh, foot and ankle instability problems. This is flat foot, heel pain, toe pain, diabetic foot, hammer toe, ankle pain, sports injuries, ligament damage and trauma which is including fracture related to the foot and ankle. Now comes the, uh, what is flat foot? Flat foot is a complex disorder resulting in loss of normal alignment of several bones in the foot, especially for the medial arch of the foot. A common problem affecting millions of children and adults in India and in the whole of the world. Now next question arises that can flat foot be ignored? All weight of our body is taken taken by our feet. Feet are the foundation of our body and yet they are most abused part of the body. We take thousands and thousands of steps a day and millions of steps in a decade. Most people never pay attention to their feet until they start having pain. So much so that many people come to know that they have flat foot after years and years of having it. Eventually having the flat foot lead to pain, stretching of ligament, bony deviation, tightness of the calf muscles. This may lead to being slow, inactive, pain while walking or difficulty in standing on the feet. Having flat foot not only affects the foot, feet but also the knee. It accelerates osteoarthritis of the knee, hip and spine pain giving rise to the other pain in the spine and the lower back etc. Earlier, the diagnosis and proper treatment can help lessen the defect of the flat foot on the body, which are very deleterious on later on. So what happens in flat foot? In flat foot, there is a deviation in axis of the flat foot bone, that is talus, over the heel bone, which is called calcaneum, leading to an uncoverage of bone on the side. This gives rise to feeling of bony swelling on the medial side or inside of the foot, which many of the people, they, they come with the complaint that they have the swelling, bony swelling on the medial side of the foot, which is nothing but the one of the sign of the flat foot. If ignored, it gives rise to collapse of the medial arch and the medial arch further and damages the tendon of the medial, yeah, that is inside of the foot, which is called, which, which tendon is called posterior tibial tendon. Furthermore, it results in ankle going inward and foot going out, outward leading it to inability to run and walk properly. Tendo Achilles, which is a calf muscle, also get tightened, leading to the pain while climbing stairs. All can ultimately lead to severe pain, inability to stand, and ultimately to the arthritis. So now comes the, the what are the options available currently for the treatment of the flat foot, which is given to all this pain. And so first of all comes the physiotherapy. In 
to foot and ankle specialty every minute detail has its own significance physiotherapy in flat feet consists of stretching of calf muscles and muscles of the foot and ankle it will only work in specific condition and cannot be prescribed as a blanket therapy like asymptomatic initial flat foot may respond to physiotherapy while visit flat foot which is uh, cannot be corrected by putting weight on the uh, foot physiotherapy has no role so when exactly to prescribe the physiotherapy also need an expert of the foot and ankle surgeons advice also let's get few things straight physiotherapy is not a treatment but stretching these muscles we are helping the patient patients today better to the deformity and eventually have less pain but does not cure the foot root problem that is flat foot it in a way helps to get accustomed to it in specific cases only another thing which is comes in the treatment is in soles again like physiotherapy in soles when used in proper indicated patients are beneficial it's not always beneficial it is again not a treatment like many people believe the best that the insole can do is to prevent the deformity progressing but not actually treat it in flat feet there is a bony deviation in the subtalar region which cannot be treated by insole but again in specific cases it may work to relieve pain or to arrest ligament damage associated with flat feet under no circumstances in both modalities can the arches which have fallen come back <clears throat> so what is the future if the about traditional methods does not provide a permanent solution this is the thing which i wanted to emphasize more the flat foot is associated with a number of condition as i said before like posterior tibial dysfunction tendoacalis tightening also plantar ligament tear and deltoid ligament sprain which are the ligament around the ankle joint in young patients relatively these associated symptoms are not present or less severe this is when dislocation occurs the flat foot gets treated so in my pursuit of finding a solution for this common problem i came across the medical device called sinus tarsi stent or hypocure it is basically a stent medical uh, medical procedure is called extra osseous tendon tarsal stabilization in short it is called eotts this procedure is widely done and is common solution provided in many countries across the globe especially in europe and uh, in america it has in life of millions of people and now the procedure is also available in my center and in india also this procedure is minimally invasive and uh, we use a stent in the sinus tarsi which is a tunnel between the ankle and heel bone and it arrests the dislocation the procedure takes only 15 to 20 minutes to do and patient can start walking on the same day without any bed rest the arches can be visualized on the same day itself and alignment correction is in is is instant the patient start walking same day but chill difficulty in adapting to the new correction he may have 5 to 10 days to adopt for this procedure nowadays age is not a real factor procedure can be done from 5 to 85 years old patient but specific indications have to be considered for this surgery but definitely the younger the patient better because the problem is detected and treated earlier like any other disease the possibility of other associated symptoms and problems decreases if associated with more associated symptoms and neglected and ignored it would lead to simultaneous three or four surgeries in one or more setting like medial calcaneal osteotomy plus spring ligament reconstruction plus flexor digitorum longus tendon transfer and tendoacalis lengthening so if you are not getting it done earlier then few more surgeries has to be associated with this what are the warning signs that we can show in a child with flat foot the parents are the first people to notice the changes in child frequent complaints of pain in the uh, feet unable to compete 
with others it is the same of the same age bracket at the same rate avoiding playing activity and finding excuse not to be active not willing to play outdoor activities and sports also consulting a foot and ankle expert for a flat foot should be a primary goal even when it is symptomatic as the progress of deformity can be documented and proper advice can be given after the procedure if child or adolescent grows does the stent need to be taken out this is an, the last question in this procedure so take the the beauty of this procedure is that it is not a bony procedure it is just you put a stent in between in the tarsal tunnel so this stent is placed in the tunnel which is remains the same throughout the life regardless of the age and growth also the chances of complication decreases at it is not a bony procedure if however due to some trauma or accident later on if stent is creating a complication then it just has to be taken out within uh, which is only 10 minutes procedure without any big incision or with with uh, big pain etc so thank you very much this was my topic thanks a lot